a lantern of love. I made it from a pumpkin. I've always wanted to carve a pumpkin, but not a Halloween one with a scary face to frighten people. I don't want to celebrate eerie evil things that Halloween is all about. I want to celebrate light and love and hope. So I asked my mum if I could carve a big heart in a pumpkin instead of a scary face to make people feel afraid. <gasps> my mum said it was a very good idea. But my dad said he'd prefer us to use the pumpkin to make pumpkin pie. I've never had pumpkin pie before, have you? I asked my mum if she knew how to make it. She said she didn't because she's never made it before. But my big brother Jeffrey said he knew how to make pumpkin pie. Jeffrey's really clever. He knows how to do everything. He says all you have to do to make pumpkin pie is divide the circumference of the pumpkin by its diameter. Hmm? Well, I don't know how that makes pumpkin pie, but it made my dad laugh. <laughs> anyway, as Mum and I carved the pumpkin together, it did help us talk to God. When we cut the top off and opened it up, we asked God to open our minds to help us learn more about him and how much he loves us. <laughs> then, when we scooped out the messy middle bit, we said sorry for all the mess ups and mistakes we make. It's so good to know God always forgives us when we say sorry. Then, we cut a big heart. And we ask God to help everybody who sees this pumpkin to know God loves them and brings hope. And lastly, we put a little light in it. And we ask God to help people know that his light fights fear by showing people the truth that he is good. I wonder if you could carve a pumpkin this half term and make your very own lantern of love. What do you think? It would be fun, wouldn't it? Or perhaps, if you don't make one, just thinking about my one will help you remember every time you see one, even a scary one, that God doesn't want people to be afraid of the bad things in the world. But instead, he wants us to be full of hope and love because he loves everyone. He loves you. And he sent Jesus to bring light and help you be friends with him. Well, have fun doing it, won't you? Anyway, I've got to go now. So hope you have a great half term and I'll see you next time. Bye.